Okay guys, welcome back. I just want to make a quick video in regards to the latest wave of cards. So this is 21-3 uh, season of cards, which is uh, released as of today. Uh, obviously I'm in Japan, so the time difference may vary for you guys. Let's put this over to English. So yeah, um, this is the first lot of information we've had. They always, usually they release a little bit of information the day before. Four, um, and they did in this case, but they didn't release the bulk of the information until actually today. So this is the new site from the Fatista website. Just, you know, like they're saying, they're, they're making some adjustments to the AI, what they normally do, like the forward position, which I've always felt has been a bit of a bit of a problem. Um, but it looks like they've had a look at that. Short pass and through ball has been adjusted as well. Again, through ball almost never work for me whenever I try to use frugal tactics so it'd be interesting to see what that's happened. Uh, crosses, never really had too much issue myself personally with crosses uh, but more aware of the height of the player receiving the cross so I'm guessing that now you know playing taller players um, they're more likely to receive a cross or not. Again not really experienced too many issues with that but it's always interesting to see. Uh, time trap tackled success rate again so so as far as tackle success rate in my opinion sometimes I've noticed that one player will just run past everybody and sometimes you just cannot get past their defense at all and likewise they can't get through your defense so that that'll be interesting to uh, to see what those adjustments are like and they've added a new friend function here as well. I'm assuming that you can now add friends and play remotely, so you don't need to be sitting in the same uh, arcade. You can probably play online now. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what um, uh, what this feature is going to be like. So anyway, um, what I wanted to mainly focus on is that the, the new card. So if we click over to here, uh, we have... Um, the new poster for some of the new cards. The Fatista 2021 and then we have season three. Doesn't look to be any new teams added. These are still the same ones. The newest one for 2021 was uh, Atalanta uh, and we lost AC Milan. So we still have Inter Milan, but AC Milan have gone and they didn't hang around for very long. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed before but I forgot to mention in my previous video about the 2021-2 card season. So anyway, let's have a look at some of the cards. Again, it's not not the most exciting, but it's much better than what we had before. I mean, we have another Sergio Ramos. I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth version we've had in since fatista has been around. Uh, but you have to keep in mind fatista has been going for almost three years now, so it's not too bad but it's still you know another Ramos but I noticed that he's ranked at um before rank up I'm assuming that he's ranked at 93 which means when he ranks up he's going to be 95 which is actually the same as last year's Virgil van Dijk so they're both going to be 25 and they both have the same skill so that's quite interesting um obviously we've got a new Neuer and we have another Kevin De Bruyne his skill is dribble. Last time it was through ball, and he's ranked at 21. And he's only a world star, so he's had a bit of a hit since the last one. I think the last Kevin De Bruyne we had, he was a special star, I think, or special one. I can't remember what wording they use. But we have another De Bruyne, and we have another Neymar, taking a bit of a whack. He's down to 88, and he's got Mood Maker. No, not particularly. <laughs> bothered by Neymar I'm not one of his biggest fans but it's always good to have another variation of one of the top top stars um, interestingly we have a Thiago for signed for Liverpool he's ranked at 88 which I think is being a bit generous I don't think he's been I don't think he's been bad this season so far but it, I don't think he's been 88 I think probably about 85 probably would have been a bit more accurate but um, this is before rank up, so he's going to be about 90 ranked up. I think a bit too generous. Uh, I did notice that on the initial release of players that they still had him at Bayern Munich. He hadn't been put into Liverpool yet. Uh, and just moving down, I mean, there's nothing particularly stand out here. I mean, 
Hector Hierra, we got um We got Leno. Yeah, nothing. Maxi Gomez. Uh, nothing to write home about. I mean these are these are quite low ranked ones. I mean again, like I said, I'll show you towards the end. It's not the most exciting list of players, but there is one big positive to take from this. Um, I just want to quickly go over to the premium scout. Again, some of these we already went over. Um, yeah. Again, the only noticeable one for me is that we've got uh, Jota. Uh, and again, initially he was put at 85 and he's been knocked down to 83, which means he's going to be about 85 ranked up. But he's in the premium scout along with um, Neymar and, and De Bruyne. Again, none of these other ones are particularly exciting. Uh, we've got another Marco Roos as well. He's taken a bit of a whack. He's down to 86. Um, but rather than being a left wing, they put him as offensive midfield, which is always nice to have. So what I like is having the same player, but in the variations of his card, they have him in different positions, so you can kind of mix and match. I quite quite like that. Uh, and recently I've been playing with two central defenders and one uh, offensive midfielder. I used to play with a defensive midfielder, still do occasionally, depends on when I'm playing. Um, but I prefer to go with offensive midfielders recently. Again, nothing too exciting, nothing really worthy of note. Uh, I just want to come over to the list of cards. Um, let me just change this to English for you. Okay, so. Again, nothing too exciting. Like I said, originally they put Thiago in Bayern Munich, but they've actually fixed it in the latest update, and they've put him into um, into Liverpool. Uh, we've got another Di Maria, which we didn't actually have any example of. They haven't actually shown that one in the marketing material. Uh, but he's a speedster. Uh, not too sure about that right wing. And his skill is at 84. So from the last Di Maria we have, I don't know if you remember in my other videos where I was playing him quite regular, trying to rank him up he's ranked about 90 maybe 91 uh, he's gone down to 84 I think this is probably where he should have been last time but uh, each to their own uh, we've got a fair few Borussia Dortmund players I was hoping that they would give us a Jude Bellingham but I uh, have to wait for, for next time uh, Manuel Neuer ranked at 90 uh, Captain C I'm not quite sure uh, Captain C Maybe it just means Captain C, but they've spelled it Captain Space C as in Ocean. But I just noticed that now. That's quite funny. <laughs> uh, another Alexis Sanchez. He's in a competition. This is the second one of him we've had in Futista. Uh, mainly because he moved to Inter Milan when he was at Manchester United. Uh, obviously, they don't have the rights to that. So. Uh, to, to the Manchester United club so we can get him so now we've got a second variation of Alexis Sanchez he's down at 79 wow I just saw that so he must be one of the early ones that you get in the competition uh, David Blind, Anthony Insignia Captain C for Insignia there uh, he's in premium premium like I said it's it's not the most exciting lineup that's out there but I want to point out that there has been a huge uh, improvement here so towards the end of last month they sent out a survey to all the players just asking this is Sega sent a survey out to ask loads of questions to the, the, the player base just asking their, our opinion on the game now I think I can't be for sure but I do know this is a common complaint amongst the community is that there are too many J League players I know if you go back and watch my 2021-2 uh, season um, uh, sort of preview, I made a big point about that. And it looks as though they have listened. So this is all our European players, or European club players, I should say, be a bit more accurate. Not a huge amount, but there is there's quite a lot. And there's a few ones which are interesting, although overly it's a bit flat. If we go down to the Japanese teams now, Although there are a lot more teams in J-League, you'll notice that there's only one from each club. See? Do you remember last time that list went on for like two and a half scrolls? Now, you know, maybe one scroll. Uh, and we've only got one 
player in each one, which means you're more likely to get a European club player, which I think is amazing. Although there are three in uh, in here, but that's the only Japanese team that has three players. So overall, I think this is a marked improvement. I am, I'm much, much happier, more enthusiastic to go and play this, knowing that when I scout for players, gacha gacha, loot boxes, whatever you want to call them, I'm more likely to get one of these uh, better players. So later today I will go and I'll have a look, I'll have a play, uh, and I might make a couple of videos with uh, my opinions. The player base is flat, but there seems to be a fair few AI adjustments, so I'd like to have a look at that as well. And yeah, that's that's basically it for this uh, this preview into the season. If you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments below or shoot over to my Instagram where I'm much more active. Uh, you can ask me some questions there. I've been getting a lot of um, questions from um, card collecting communities, uh, people who are into card collecting, asking me all sorts of questions about Fatista, and I'm always happy to receive them. And I love engaging with with collectors uh, and helping you guys out as much as I can. So please feel free, shoot me a message, and yeah, and I'll speak to you again in my next video. Thank you very much, guys.